stocks by day, sports by night, trading around the clock. Sports, value, life. No one fine. It's a leak. All right, Elite Co. 3 here. Um, I wanted to make a video and talk a little bit about my uh, collecting habits, um, the f what the future holds for me, and um, a uh, raffle giveaway that I'm going to be setting up here. Um, I'm going to try to get this video out in the next three days, but basically it's going to be a three-tier raffle, and um, it's going to allow three people to win, obviously. Um, we'll just say gold, silver, and platinum, but the the gifts will be PayPal gifts, so the people that win can send me an email at nolan.klein at park.edu and um, I will send you over a PayPal gift. It'll be 75 50 and 25 so that'll be something that's coming up, so watch for that video. Um, and also just want to talk a little bit about 2017 products. Um, I'm thinking about breaking some 2017 score, mainly because of... The, the amount of cards and rookies you get can create some more value. Um, 2017 Bowman is also on the table. Um, I took a break from Bowman last year. I broke a ton of 2015, which is actually a pretty crappy product um, as it stands today. Um, so possibly going to break some new 2017 stuff. I've been having a lot of fun with the older stuff. You, you guys have seen the breaks, the 1980s baseball, the 1990s baseball, pulling out Hall of Famers from there. But um, other things I am working on are my thousand card order to PSA. Um, it's it's tough. It's tough to find enough quality and cards that I actually think are worth sending in. Um, a lot of times you you send in a card, you pay six bucks or whatever, five fifty, and the card is worth five bucks in PSA ten. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth it or not? So um, uh, also check out the eBay store and my Twitter I'll uh, link that down below and uh, this video is going to segue into a Beckett order that I shipped off and it had to be like early February I want to say and uh, the deadline date was 331 I contacted I contacted Becca uh, Beckett probably five or six times three times via the the online chat and three times I sent a message to their customer support team and I never got anything back but the order did arrive back yesterday which was May 4th um, I popped it open and looked at the grades and um, I'm gonna we're gonna shoot a different part of the video now we're gonna take a look at the actual job ID number and the deadline date that was supposed to be back and just kind of see what happened with, with this order and I, I guess they changed their policies they probably ramped up fees even more so another reason to not grade with Beckett anymore alright guys so I'm on Beckett's website we're going to scroll over to um, grading and we're going to try to pop up my orders right here so the order we're, that we're looking at here is job ID 378245. Um, 45-day was the service time. They, re they received it on January 27th, it looks like. Um, so that would have left it with a deadline day per their website of 331. And it actually... The ship date was 5-1, and I got it 5-4. So um, I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but hopefully the camera's picking that up. It looks a little jagged, but I mean, you guys get the gist. I'm telling you guys what what's up with, with this order. So I sent out 21 cards. Use the bulk specials, $8 a card, plus $2 for the autos, which I'm not a fan of that. Um, so um, let's get to the order. So these are a couple of the uh, messages. Um, Looks like April 20th and May 1st. I attempted to. It says thank you for con. Thank you for your message to Becca OPG. Um, so it was just like an automated response. I mean, nobody sent me anything back like text. It's just like this. Thanks for your message, customer service. And uh, 
the inbox see if Beckett ever did e email me back so click on Beckett yeah nothing from Beckett so I don't know I guess that's the way things go around there all right guys here's the order so there's the stuff on the package um, ship date May 1st 17 from Beckett Beckett media so let's, let's get into this package um, Possibly my last bucket order. Thought about doing some SGC, but the pricing's like on par with PSA, and I think PSA sells a little better on the secondary market. But check these out. So for the past couple of years, when I do send an order to Beckett, it is cards that either PSA would not slab. <coughs> I don't want to use the word rejects as I did in one of my videos but just uh, I, don't, I don't know what I would call it they're just cards that I didn't think would grade well with PSA or they did not um, minimum size zero or something with PSA so I start with this one and this is the only uh, gem mint so don't expect a bunch of gem mints in here because most of these cards were pretty tattered up and I was figuring they'd be PSA 7s, 8s so Mariota <coughs> that's a um, Red Refractor, it's out of 100. 15 Prism. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that, this card, so I'll, I'll put that one in the store. Um, these Breeze Tops Chromes were either one of two things. I used to pick these up in the, back in the day for like 20 or 30 bucks, but um, these were either minimum size zero or they had a surface scratches and dimples, and I knew Beckett would not be as tough on it. And they gave it a mint nine, so that's pretty good. It's out of nine ninety nine. Uh, next up, we have Larry Fitzgerald. This is Leaf Limited, fourteen. Um, I think I think I wasn't a fan of the uh, surface of this one, so. Looks like a pretty nice card. A little messed up edge there. That's Leaf Limited Phenoms to 150. Um, this is a strange card. Um, it's very rare. I believe it's supposed to be numbered out of 100. But it is, is the SPX Finite, Finite uh, New School Spectrum. So it's a very rare Moss from his rookie year. Um... I think PSA said minimum size zero on this one, so that they didn't slab it. And I, it looked like a back at nine, but they gave it an eight five, so I don't know. Eight five corners, eight five edges. There's the back. It's supposed to be uh, numbered like across here, right there. So that that happened a lot back in '98. That's when they first started to uh, number of cards. And there's just different examples of cards not getting numbered. So. Um. I can't remember why I sent this one to Beckett, but Beckett Knight, it almost got a gem mint. Which, to me, when there's three nine fives and one nine, let's see if it'll focus. I don't really, I don't consider that a true gem mint when one of the subs is a nine, even though the slab does say <laughs> gem mint per Beckett standards. But to me, if, if a card has nine corners and there's like a little corner or something to me it doesn't it's not a gem mint I think you're buying the holder and not the card that's just my opinion but um I don't want to get on to a rant um this card just looked like hell so I figured PSA I, I think PSA did slab this up as a seven and I just busted it out and sent it to Beckett and they gave it a nine so almost got gem mint <laughs> just uh they don't. They grade things differently. Um, this is this card was pretty beat up on the corners and the edges, so it's probably like a PSA seven or six. Got an eight five Beckett. It's an Origins Jordan Howard gold. So it's it's a badass card, low print run, and I wanted it slabbed somehow, but it's in this nasty eight five holder, but and not nasty in a good way. Um, I got this in a pack. And I can't remember. It's got a it's got a ding corner, so I figured it wouldn't 
grade well with PSA. Um, they got a Beckett 9, and they, they caught the corner, so they gave it an 8.5 corner. This is the purple mosaic to 35. We've got some more top stone breezes. These have surface dimples and possibly some light scratching. So that's why the 8.5 surface comes in. But they're back at 9. So I'll probably put one of these in the store. And then surface 8.5 on this one too. This is such a sick card though. Next up we have an Eli Manning with a badass swatch. Look at that thing. Part of the logo, maybe? Um, it's out of 150. Beckett 9 autograph. Let's see why it's a 9. Oh, it's not inside the little box. I don't know. So, um, this is a 9. And the same issue with uh, Fitzgerald. I think uh, I just didn't like the way the surface looked. But I knew Beckett would not be so harsh on it. Um, this this one had soft corners, eight five corners. Just it's got pushed in corners. So I, I figured it'd be like a PSA seven or eight. This is a mere purple auto of Jordan Howard to ten from sixteenth certified. <coughs> Here's another gem mint. This had a scratch across the surface. <laughs> I guess that's why it had it got nine surface. So I didn't feel comfortable sending it to PSA. Uh, I figured they'd give it an 8, but it got a gem mint from Beckett, so take it. It's out of 10. That's the Prism Gold. Um, and then we got the Fitzgerald. This one had a scratch surface too, hence the 8.5 surface, and it's off center, so they give it a 9 on centering. It just barely met the standards of a Beckett 9. It's out of 210. <clears throat> these are actually, I believe they're uncirculated. They're in those, that case with that s silver film and you have to kind of snap them out of there, which I, I like snapping stuff. Um, th this card just looked like a, a dog bit the corners of it. So I, I think I tried to push this into PSA and they gave it a 6. But um, it got a, a an 8.5, so... Corners eight, edges eight five. So the the thing with Beckett is you can get away with you know one aspect of the car being a lot weaker um, because it, the grades are all based on subgrades. So it's not like the overall eye appeal of the card. It's all just subgrades. Um, and this is a this had a dinged corner. So this is a mere gold Mariota to fifteen. Really nasty card though. A three color patch 10 auto so there's one more box of cards battery's dying I'm going to charge it up and I'll finish up alright and the last cards of the order are in this box and see if the packing where the packing slip went um, I might put that somewhere else oh no, right here so of course we've got an ad from PWCC. Um, let's just take a look at the, the cost of this order. Okay, so here's a breakdown of the cost. So we got 21 cards at eight bucks a card, which is the best rate you could get previously. I think they up their rates now, but and then so 244 for the whole order. So not terrible. Um, this next one was a disappointment, and it's a Wentz, and it got a Surface Six. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna snap this for sure, but it's a badass Wentz with the uh, sticker from his helmet. It's out of twelve from Immaculate, but um, I didn't, I didn't notice um, substantial surface scratch on this one, so I don't know if they maybe thought this was a scratch in the decal, but uh, I won't put it past them. So. Um, this was uh, this was like a PSA six, so sent it to Beckett. Got an eight um, corner seven five, edges eight five. It's just kind of beat up. That's how these exquisites are a lot of time. This is the gold one out of twenty five though. So he's on the Saints now, so we'll see what he can do. Um, Beckett nine autograph.
And now we have a hockey card. This is a cool kind of like a Blackhawks uh, Taze SP Authentic logo to 100 Future Watch Limited. Um, the edges got an 8. So there's something I saw in here that I thought would do pretty poorly with PSA. Got an 8.5. We have a Peterson. This is Spectrum. It's a 25. Um, it got a 9. It actually got pretty good subgrades there. It's got the Jersey Jersey ball and there's the back of it. This is such a cool set. And the last card is a Jordan Howard Mirror Purple Patch Auto to 10. Back at 9. Um, dinged up corners so corners got a 9. <coughs> Alright guys, that's it. I'm gonna get this thing uploaded. Uh, let me know let me know your opinion on the order on Beckett, PSA, all things the hobby guys. Later.